Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do, it's, I would call this a full moon reading. Um, it's a daily vibes, we're just going to see what comes up, but we are, it is the, uh, right around the full moon, okay? I think it is the, it's the Aquarius full moon. So it's the full moon in Aquarius, and I'll get a question below, and some people say it's not Aquarius, but you know, figure it out. Anyhow, um, what do we have for a message today for the full moon energy? I'm going to use a couple of extra cards today. Oh, if you have booked a reading with me for next week, it is extremely important that you email me. Okay, you need to email me. If you have not emailed me, it says it in the description, no email, no reading. Okay, you have to email me because there's more information that I need. So if you've booked one, and no, there is no open slots right now. So I, when I get ready to open them again, I will announce it. So what do we have for a message today? Seven of Wands. So... Seven of Wands. It looks like we have a riot here of some sort. This is like, uh, yeah, I don't know what is going on, but it looks like it's some sort of standoff of some sort. Uh, proving a point. You know, some, we got somebody here that is standing their ground. I don't know if this is a strike or what it is. We definitely have something going on here where there's, there's a try, somebody that is trying to prove something. All right, they're trying to prove something. They're in, a, they're in a tough position as well, unwilling to budge, you know? So I think there's some sort, there could be some sort of standoff. Hmm. Well, we got one already. Ooh, there could be a fight, okay? There could, with the Seven of Wands, there could be a fight because that is a conflict of some sort. Somebody's trying to defend their position. They're trying to defend their posi position, uh, trying to win, trying to win, you know, based on their ideals or whatever, but they're probably in a very tough position. You know, there's a lot of opposition by the looks of things. This fell out of the deck. Rejection is God's protection. So there is some sort of rejection here. We're talking about what this full moon is bringing in. We've been getting that. Oh, we have a door that is open. Somebody is, is going through a new doorway or there's a new doorway that is opening. There's a new doorway that is opening. We have an open door here. Hmm. Summertime, something about summertime. This summer, I think it has to do with this summer. There's a new door that is opening. We have somebody here that's been in fantasy land. You know, they've been in a state of illusion, pretending, you know, this is make pretend, this is like Disneyland, right? Somebody has been pretending that uh, everything is good. It's just all a complete fantasy. They've been in a state of illusion. Um, but I feel like they're in a position where it's like it's time to stop fighting. It's time to stop pretending. It's time to get back to the basics. It's time to admit defeat. It's time to, you know, uh, perhaps get off of that mound, right? And turn around and go in a different direction and live a peaceful life. You know, we have a new match here. This is a match. Okay, it's a spark, it's a, it's a new drive, it's a new ambition, it's an exciting new opportunity. This is kind of like the Ace of Wands. So I do believe we have somebody here that is definitely going to be going through a new doorway. Um, maybe they have been in a position fighting with somebody where they can't win. They can't win with that person or with that group of people who, or whoever it is. They can't win. It's like nobody is willing to budge, you know. So I feel like there's like there obviously is a rejection that is happening or has happened for a reason because there's a new doorway here that is opening. And I feel like it has to do with this summer. Um, it does... Uh, 
something to do with somebody that has been living in a state of illusion as well. They've been in, you know, it's kind of like living in Disneyland, you know, it's like, oh, this, this is just complete fake. It's so fake. It's none of it is real. Anyhow, um, what do we have N now? This is about getting back to reality. You know, it is. Oh, we just had a card fall out. Ooh, Eight of Cups. Somebody has been, and it came out reversed. They're, they've been thinking about leaving. They've been giving it a lot of thought. They've been pretending they're happy. Okay, this is the Eight of Cups reversed is like this is uh, refusing to move on from an emotionally disappointing situation. It is emotionally disappointing. Okay, somebody's been refusing to move on. Uh, thinking about it, taking a lot of time to think about it. But there is love here in the future. So there's love. There could be a new love here. There's this, this is, there's an opportunity for love, for emotional fulfillment. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. This is fast moving energy. This is taking a new approach. It is just going for it. This is exciting. This is uh, acting right now, taking action, done thinking about it. I'm all done thinking about it. This is action. Somebody is going to be taking some swift action. This is somebody that um, has this desire. It could be a very sudden desire or they, well, I can see that they've been thinking about it. They just do it. They just decide that, you know, I gotta I gotta make a move and I'm going right now because that's like act now, think later. So I do believe somebody is there's some swift action that is about to be taken. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles is uh, a businesswoman. She does it all. She's also a mother, she's very motherly, she's very grounded, she's business oriented, she's devoted. Um, this is like Mother Earth, right? She's a natural. She's grounded. She obviously has something of value in her hands that is a golden opportunity. So we have somebody here that has some something secure or, or they're obtaining something secure or they're making somebody a very secure offer because what she has in her hand is golden opportunity that's manifestation that's that's something you can touch something you can hold on to it's permanent it's it, whatever it is and whoever this person is that is making the offer is very practical and responsible and hardworking and devoted to whatever it is this could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, who it doesn't have to be whoever this person is this person is loyal um, very fertile it is a very fertile time i mean this is somebody that there's also romance in the air i just happened to really focus in on the flowers um and there's 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 money as well there's abundance here if anyway there's i don't know maybe it's an abundance of love because of that ace of cups this is a flood of emotion it's it's feelings a flood of feelings of some sort New start in love with the Ace of Cups. Knight of Swords upright. This is rushing in. I got to do it. I got to. I have to. This is somebody that is rushing in. This is a fearless individual. This is somebody that is putting their plans in action. They're communicating. They're taking action. Uh, this is assertiveness, uh, chatty, uh, in a hurry. Uh, get out of my way. You know, this is somebody that is uh, going to be making some sort of entrance in a hurry. This is very much rushing in, charging in with some sort of taking a new approach. Somebody may be taking a new approach. They've made a decision. They know what they want. This is this is this is somebody that really does not wait for things to happen, just goes for it. I feel like there's going to be a sudden arrival. There could also be a sudden departure with that Knight of Swords. Ooh, Page of Pentacles reverse. Now that's that's not really interested in something. It's not. It's not putting in effort. We have somebody here that is maybe immature, that is not interested in commitment. 
that may be causing some sort of movement. I mean, the Page of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is complacent, that is lazy, that is not interested in putting in effort. You know, this is like not interested. I'm not interested in the job. Maybe they're not, somebody may be not qualified, you know, or they don't want it. They don't want it. They don't want it. So there could, there could be, there could be somebody that is deciding to, uh, go after something else. They've been in an emotionally disappointing situation with that eight of cups reverse. They've been staying put there's been dissatisfaction, but I feel like they have a solid opportunity from somebody that is real. This is very real. This is this is nurturing. It's solid. It's huge. I mean, that's a huge ace of pentacles. So it's a huge opportunity. It's a huge investment. But there's but the page of pentacles reversed is typically laziness you know it's laziness i'm not interested not interested in commitment which could be causing movement somebody could be in some sort of situation with somebody that doesn't really want a commitment seven of cups there's other options underneath the the queen of pentacles so either the queen of pentacles has multiple options or this whoever this other person is there's obviously a few people here uh, we also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We had the Knight of Wands, which was Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but this is options. There's a lot of other options here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles. Anyhow, um, there's options. There's choices. There's consequences. There's a need to make a choice. We have somebody here that has been stalling. They have been stalling. They have Maybe they've been confused because of all the options or whatever. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is all about stability, okay? She wants stability. She is stability. She's solid. She's stable. She's real. She's practical. She's hardworking. Um, she's family-oriented. She, she takes care of the home. She works. She's business. She's a businesswoman. All about, she's very focused on her abundance in every arena of her life, okay? Anyway, there's options here, several options. And we have at least one person that... It appears hasn't been putting in much effort or doesn't want commitment with the page of pentacles reversed. You know, somebody's not really committed to love because above that is the ace of cups. And the knight of swords is this is a this is like a, it could be a departure, could be an arrival. Somebody's been thinking about taking a new approach. Maybe they weren't interested. They weren't interested in commitment or they weren't interested in falling in love or they had many other options or something like that. There's definitely several options here. And there's also consequences. There's consequences for uh, stalling because the page of pentacles reverse is stalling. It's procrastination. It's like, I, I don't really want to put in the work. I don't really want to start over, you know, but starting over, you know, can lead to emotional fulfillment because that ace of cups is emotional. It's the ultimate love, right? The ace of cups. I mean, it is. So anyhow, we ha I feel like we have somebody here that has a golden opportunity that they can grab on to right now. Not only is does it lead to something stable and solid and long term, it also leads to emotional fulfillment because the Ace of Cups right next to it and it is upright. But there's consequences with the Seven of Cups and it, there's a choice that needs to be made because that is a card of choice. You can choose to not invest and um, choose another option or you can choose to invest and take action act now think later act, we have that with the knight of wands act now think later uh, procrastination is going to cause a loss because the page of pentacles is reversed if you you can't fight gravity okay you can't fight gravity you if, if you take a look at the card the pentacles all, eventually it's going to slip away it is going to slip away because there is another option so anyhow, um, Knight of Swords, making a decision, going for it, uh, charging in a hurry, get out of my way, hasty, a very hasty decision. I got to go do this. I got to go do this right now. Um, that's what the Knight of Swords is. I, I must go. I must. I must. 
I feel like there's four of wands and I feel like there's some deep fulfillment coming. Uh, commitment, but we have, we have, I feel like there's happiness here. There's an opportunity for commitment for, for pe two people to get together. This is celebrate, have fun. Um, I, there could be a commitment that is coming suddenly. This Knight of Swords can be a shock. It can absolutely be a shock. There could also be a separation. I think I already said departure. We may have somebody here that is severing ties with a commitment because they have another opportunity, a golden opportunity. They've been thinking about leaving anyway by the looks of things with the eight of cups reversed. That's like, this ain't, this ain't, this is emotional disappointment. I've been pretending. Somebody has really been pretending that, you know, they've been living in freaking Disneyland and whatever. Anyhow, um, but I do feel like there's some sort of change here because I feel like there's a change in a foundation or a change in a partnership or a change in an engagement. I also feel like there's going to be an upcoming get together where two people are getting together and I feel like it's extremely suddenly. There could be a change in the home with the Four of Wands. That's a foundation. So there could be a change in the home. Uh, whatever your foundation is that you're questioning. Um, oh, King of Pentacles. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a power couple. They're both upright. Doesn't matter what signs they are. It could be anybody, but this is a power couple. We have, and it is, next to the Four of Wands, we have a power couple here. Two people that are both they both have shared values. They both have a lot to offer. They both uh, are very business oriented. They are both very focused on their abundance. They, they have a lot in common. We have two people here that have the ability to create because that both of the, the aces of pentacles are about manifestation. Okay, they have the, the both of these people have the opportunity. They have the the power per se to create whatever they want. This is a power couple, it is. It's also soulmates. When you get two of the same same core in the reading, we have soulmates and with the four of wands here. So we definitely have a soulmate connection here. But there's been a delay with the page of pentacles reversed. There's been procrastination because and, and there's another option. So I feel like we have somebody here that really needs to consider their choices because there's consequences. There is consequences. I there is seven of cups is card of consequences. Be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. You can choose to seven of cups card of fantasy, and we have fantasy land over there. You can choose to live in fantasy, or you can have something solid and real. What's it gonna be? But the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles, the, the pentacles are also about value, okay? This, she's the queen of value and this is the quick king of value. This is about value. It's about self-value. It's about knowing your value. And these two people um, both have a lot of value, okay? They have a lot to add. They can, they, anyhow, the add, adding this up, this, this leads to a lot of abundance. So anyhow, I do believe that we have an individual that... Uh, is going to be coming together with somebody that they are very much aligned with. This is a perfect match. And it's interesting because we had that match a while back, wherever it is. This is a match. This is a perfect match. I, there's been some sort of procrastination though. But this is a sudden choice. It is a sudden decision. This is this is at that crossroads expansion. It is making a choice in regards to a partnership, deciding to stay or go, stepping into unknown territory, uh, spur the moment decision. So I think that we have somebody here that may be put on the spot or they may, may be making a new a spur of the moment decision to go through a new doorway. We have that new doorway. There's a door that has opened or it's opening right now. And this does lead to abundance. It absolutely does. But the choice, because free will always plays a part, the choice is absolutely yours. Um, whoever is 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 waiting, you know, has a lot of options. They have a lot of options and eventually it's going to slip away because the door, I mean, there's options here and somebody here is definitely looking for love because the Ace of Cups is love and it is big love. It is absolutely big love.
is huge, okay? So I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to uh, take a new approach. They're about to do something, uh, I feel like it's spontaneous, bold. Um, it has to do with a commitment. It may require leaving an emotionally dysfunctional situation behind where there's been some sort of disillusionment. Sudden decision to leave and go where the grass is greener. With the two of wands making a choice. We do have a major ending here with the death card. That is a major ending. This is a transformation. It is a major life change. Endings that lead to new beginnings. So we do have a major change that is coming. Somebody's about to start a new life. After they leave, there, somebody could be leaving very fast with the, with the Eight of Cups next to the Knight of Swords. And then we had the Knight of Wands very, 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 very fast. Maybe they're choosing another option because whoever they're with doesn't want commitment. And this, the Four of Wands is about marriage. It's about commitment. It's about uh, long-term commitment. Anyway, I feel like we definitely have a power couple here that are coming together or they're going to be working together or they're working towards uh, something extremely solid with both pentacles money money security stability you know whatever choose wisely you're going to be presented with an option choose wisely good luck 